guys, it's Christina, and if you read the title of this video, you will have known, you will know, you are just discovering that I am on day four of a water cleanse or a water fast. And I wasn't really sure if I was gonna make a video about this or if I was even gonna talk about it because I was so scared of what people would think about me doing something like this. And um, now that I'm on day four, I'm feeling, feeling pretty amazing and I feel comfortable to share because it's been an incredible experience. And I wanna share this experience with you because it may help other people as well. My hair looks crazy. Ah, it's the wind. Apologize for the hair. Hair is a little crazy right now. It's nice and clean and filled with coconut oil. And um, so I'm on day four of a water fast, which means I've only had water for the past four days. And my goal is to go for about six days, um, maybe more if I feel like it. So I do wanna just go ahead and add a disclaimer and say, no, I do not recommend this for anybody without supervision, without getting checked and getting just making sure that you really want to do this. And this is something that I have wanted to do for so, so long. And I'm so glad that I did. So there's a lot in this video that I'm going to be talking about because the last four days have been super emotional for me. And that brings up the primary reason why I'm doing this fast. And it's not to lose weight. I'm not even weighing myself through this process. I am not looking at myself in the mirror that much. The entire reason why I'm doing this water cleanse is because I genuinely want to do a spiritual and emotional fast and work on my, not just healing my physical body, but also my spiritual self and my emotional self. And what a lot of people don't realize is that When traumatic things happen to you, those emotions get stored in your body. You carry those emotions around with you wherever you go, even if they, those things have happened in the past or not. And the past two years for me have been so emotional and I've had so many things happen to me that have been traumatic and crazy. And um, even though they've all passed and they're in the past and I'm living in the present, I feel like they've still, they've still existed in my body somehow. They've still, I'm still carrying them around with me. And so I really wanted to do this spiritual cleanse that I could just start fresh and get everything out of me and more so work on all of these emotions that have come up, these very, very raw emotions. And it's been incredible. So I'm here right now at a place called Deer Lake Lodge. Day four, say it again. Um, and this is a beautiful place. I've, I've actually just gotten here and um, I'm gonna be spending the next few days here. That way I can really get some rest in. It is a wellness and detox center that is so beautiful. They've given me a cabin to stay in and they have so many people caring for me here. And I just wanna say that I have so much support from my family doing this and my friends. So I'm sure that I'm gonna be getting a lot of comments on this video, people saying that they can't believe I'm doing this or whatever it may be, but it doesn't matter. None of it matters because the people who love me are here with me on this journey, supporting me. Some have just been here with me and at home and um, I'd appreciate it if you guys were a part of that loving group and community so that we can create a loving and supportive community here as well. I've completed days one through four of this process and I just wanna say that I feel amazing. And before I start talking, I just wanna say that no, I don't recommend this to anyone without supervision. And if you're interested in doing a water cleanse, definitely Google places that you would wanna go visit. You know, there's places like True North in California, Deer Lake Lodge here in Texas is amazing. And, um, can't say enough about having a great support team around you while you're doing this. So primarily I want to talk about the healing that is going on in my body and I 
I was gonna do this all in private and just heal on my own, but then I realized that I have so much to share and that this information could help other people and that people may even find it interesting. It's kind of funny because I also thought to myself like, I've done worse things before and put them on video, so why would me doing a water fast be a big deal? It's not. It's a part of my life journey and if it's an amazing experience for me, it could be an amazing experience for somebody else. Apologize for the hair. It's all natural right now. <laughs> so I first want to talk about my first few days of this fast. Um, I started on Sunday and actually it was really great. I spent some quality time with my mom and had some great support from her and from my friend Kyra who um, came to spend the day with me and I stayed home and even though I was doing computer work, I got a lot done and then we ended up going to watch a movie. If you guys were watching my Snapchat, you would have seen I went to go see a movie that day and I just drank water all day. I'm drinking about a gallon of water every day right now and it's so cleansing. Do I feel hungry? I think um, I felt really hungry the first and second day of the water fast, but after that, it's like day four, I haven't had any hunger. I just feel the need to rest and meditate and work on my mind. Day two was actually the hardest day for me. Not physically, this entire time physically, I've actually felt incredible and amazing and strong. And even though I'm not running, I am getting in a little bit of walking and day two was just so emotional for me. You don't realize how many emotions are stored in your body and when you're fasting and you get emotional, everything feels 10 times more intense than if you were just eating and stuffing your emotions with food or whatever it may be. So it really forces you to look within and address the problem and then take that negativity and shift it into something positive, which is hugely important and what I'm trying to do in my life right now. So my first three days of fasting, I was actually in Houston and I was at my house and I was actually working. And I don't recommend that for anybody fasting. You should definitely be resting, but running three companies and trying to do a fast has been very challenging for me and it has caused me to have to deal with a lot of stress going on in my life. And that's why I'm doing this. Um, so day three of my fast was actually amazing. Day, day two was horrible. It was just emotional, not physically. Physically I felt great, but emotionally I felt like the world was ending. On <laughs> Monday there was a new moon out, it was a full moon, and so everything just felt like it was crashing down. Um, but day three, Day three was incredible. Day three felt like I was over the hump and I went to co-op that day. I had enough energy to run co-op full on, be there with everybody, talk to people, lift boxes, and it was great. I love day three. And so now I'm on day four and I've come to Deer Lake Lodge. That way I can properly rest for a few days before I have to go back to Saturday co-op. And um, I'm loving it here. It's so peaceful, so nice. The people are sweet. I have my good friend with me. So as days five, six, and seven progress, I'm just gonna be resting here and then I'm just gonna continue to vlog and talk about my experience in doing this. Have I felt like a lot of emotional cleansing has happened? Yes. I'm so grateful. Like, I don't know if you can tell in my energy right now, but I just feel like this huge weight has been lifted. And I feel so clean and so clear and so fresh and I wake up in the morning feeling so unbelievably rested and I just can't wipe the smile off my face right now. So I know a lot of people are probably going to be asking, Christina, what did you go through the past few years that's been so traumatic that's made you feel like you needed to only drink water and do a cleanse and you know, I, I don't think I need to like share all of that. Here, but I will just say I've dealt with everything from betrayal, people taking advantage of me on so many levels, people stealing from me, people hurting me, even just with their words, friends of mine who passed away, close people to me, more than one family that's passed away, really horrible crack open your ribs heartbreak and all of that has just 
been so emotional and it's made me so much more of a real and authentic and deep person and, and for all of those experiences I am so grateful because they have molded me into the woman that I am today. I don't know if you guys remember the poem that I wrote back in the summer but me being artistic and celebrating art as a form of expression is how I deal with pain and how I deal with all these things and so um, I'll put a link below in this video so you guys can go check that video out if you want. I still love that poem and I think I'm actually going to be doing another poem because I've been writing a lot since I've been here and it's been great. And if you guys want me to make a new poem, you should like this video and comment below and I'll see how many people are actually interested in hearing that kind of information from me or that type of expression. Going back really quickly to my support team. When I wasn't sure if I was going to be talking about my experience in public like this, I realized that so much credit went into what other people were going to be thinking about my experience until I realized that all that really matters is the small group of people around me that I love and who I trust and who support me all of the time. And to me that's what matters most. And the fact that I have all of their support in doing this and that they're checking up on me every day. and I have so much love around me, that is what is helping me grow and heal and it feels so good. So I'll talk a little bit about the physical benefits that I've noticed since doing this. Uh, once the hunger passed, I have to actually say that I haven't lost a lot of weight. I've lost like no weight and I'm sure a lot of people think that I'm doing this because People have been calling me fat and I made a video about it and then I'm like trying to lose my fatty weight. But that's not why I'm doing this at all. I'm doing this for emotional and spiritual reasons and I'm seeing benefits across the board though, which is so cool. And the fact that I haven't lost a lot of weight just shows me how healthy I've been to begin with since I've been eating raw vegan. It just shows me how strong my body is and how resilient it is and that it's cleaning out stored toxins and detoxing from other things and I just want to say how much I love my body and I love myself and have respect for myself which is exactly why I am doing this and I'm 28 years old and I've been a raw vegan for t over 10 years and I personally think I look amazing I feel amazing I run every day I swim I box I do yoga and there's no doubt that I'm incredibly healthy and you know it's been a process and a journey for me but because I love my body and I love my skin and there's no reason for me to not share that with people because I feel confident in myself. Other physicalities that I've seen that have been kind of weird and funny at the same time is that I've noticed that I don't have bad breath which you would expect from somebody who's only had water for a few days and um, and I'm so surprised at the amount of energy that I have right now, like clean energy. I really feel like I could go run, but I'm not because I'm trying to preserve my energy. But I have so much good energy coming out of me right now and I just love it and feel it. And it's just great. I'm sleeping better. Oh my gosh, am I sleeping better. The sleep is incredible. My skin, my skin is just so much more clear and vibrant and glowing. Um, my eyes have started to even clear a little bit more. I'm gonna get really close in there. I'm gonna try and get like close-ups later of my eyes so you guys can see that, sorry about that, <laughs> that my eyes have started to turn an even bluer color, which is incredible. So the physical benefits have been amazing. Um, but emotionally, that's where I'm feeling it the most, is in my heart and I'm focused on healing my heart. I'm getting through this by listening to beautiful, soothing music and meditating. And um, Deer Lake Lodge has been so kind and like offering to get me massages and nice wraps. And another thing that I'm doing to really work on the emotions that are coming up is I'm purposefully trying to think about the things that have brought me pain or upset me so that I can bring them up because they're very raw to me right now. Emotions are intensified times 10 when you're fasting and so everything feels like a mountain when it's really a molehill. And I've been thinking about all these things and 
in feeling these emotions, it brings them up and it allows me to release them so that I can heal and move on. Regardless of anything, I'm really proud of myself for doing this water fast because it means that I'm not afraid. Not afraid to share this experience with all of you, not afraid to look at the darkest parts inside of myself and clean them out. It means that I am courageous, courageous enough to be vulnerable and express myself and be sensitive in front of people. And I feel like that's what life is about, is growing and learning and sharing and being the best person and the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. I'm hoping that this experience, when I'm all done and <laughs> finish all of my vlogs about this, this will help inspire a lot of other people, not just to fast, because that's not the purpose of this, but inspire them to get healthier, mind, body, and spirit, to eat one fully raw meal a day, to go vegan, to really work on cleansing and healing the heart, and so much more. And I think I want to adopt a puppy after I do this. I really want a puppy. And then I think I'm ready. I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it. That is an update of what I am doing, why I'm here at Deer Lake Lodge. I'm on day four of my water fast. Tomorrow will be day five and day six. I'll still be at co-op in Houston on Saturday. Um, I may be breaking on Saturday, but I'm gonna put another video out on Sunday to kind of update where I am in my fasting journey and then I'll probably put another video up after that breaking my fast and explaining how I did it so that I can continue living healthfully and not you know go back into negative patterns and I'm hoping that information will help other people. Um, in between those videos if you guys want to follow me on snapchat I'll be snapchatting while I'm here and at co-op and doing all my healing as well so I really appreciate your support. All right, you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would comment below and just leave your support, that would mean the world to me because I want to support you on your journey to health. And it would be awesome if you shared some love below as well. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can find me here on YouTube at Fully Raw Christina. And Click the subscribe button because I post here a lot and it looks like I'm going to be sharing a lot more videos for you. If you want to follow me daily, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. And say it again, Snapchat at Fully Raw. All right, you guys, I'm going to go rest and enjoy the rest of this absolutely gorgeous day. And um, I'll see you in my next video. And I'm sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.